Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to Dune Spice Wars. Today, my friends, we're going to be learning the ECAS together and trying to figure out this relatively uh, okay. complicated Auto. faction, but very, very fun for sure. Straight on it. So I played Auto. them a couple times. I haven't played them since the recent Auto. patch. I don't really know what their like best builds are, but we're going to maybe have a combination of politics yes, and, uh, of course, some evil schemes, we'll which are always in line, you know? Even though I'm not there. playing the Baron, sometimes you just got to channel him. So let's go grab this village. So one of the main ways that the ECAS works is you surround neutral villages. And um, when you do that, you surround it by building territories around it. It becomes a sanctuary, which gives you a multitude of benefits. So that is going to be our game plan. And as we go through, we'll look at all that and uh, have some fun. All right. So initially, you're going to be taking this village. It does have the scientists. Ooh, research hub as well as research hub production. So that's not bad. And we want to get a lot of ornithopters out because ECAS typically, I would assume is going to require a lot of planning. You need to really make sure your bases are, uh, you know, planned in a certain way. Yes, All right, so that Ornithopter is there. Let's go ahead and get the Spice Field. You always pretty much have to get that. You can also build Masterpieces, yes, which are pretty cool because they count as multiple instances of, uh, you know, if you get something for having X military buildings in a village, it, it counts for that, which is nice. And I believe it counts for two variants of that, but we'll see. All right, so the Ornithopter is going to do some scouting and we can go ahead and close the Black Market here. All right, we're making a musketeer because our initial units suck. Definitely going to go for that next. Although sometimes Plascrete is better, but you can use the edge of the map to take a neutral site or to turn it into a sanctuary. You can do a lot of neat stuff. Now for our counselors, we do have uh, Lisa Ecas. She's really good. She can give you immunity to bad lands rad resolutions. So if there's something like, oh, target player loses a uh, spice exchange, you can make yourself immune to it. And also every time you build a masterpiece, you get lands rad standing. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty nice counselor from what I've seen. All right, so if we close that down, outstanding. Let's head over this way. We got this unit now. So mineral field and plascrete. Um, okay, the rare minerals are always pretty damn good. Plasteel is also nice. Intel per statecraft building and agent recruit speed are both very good. This one looks like it could be possible to surround here too. So let's do this. Have you come down and scout that out? Set you on autopilot. And again, we don't need to rush to get another base. We need to just make sure that we're adequately scouting. Okay, so I think this is the edge. This would actually be a good sanctuary spot because it's very, very well protected. All right, so we finished that. Let's go ahead and get the, um, hmm, how do we want to do this? Yeah, probably local dialect studies would be good. So we're going to take the minerals and yes, we're giving up plasteel, but I think it's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and deploy you. We have our harvester out, so let's deploy that bad boy. And we're going to take through our minerals and this will become our first sanctuary here. And what's cool is you can actually pillage sanctuaries. It's a pretty funny thing. You like build a sanctuary and you're just like, you know, beating it down over and over. Uh, the other counselor is going to be Sonya. She gives you money for each sanctuary and masterpieces are cheaper. And every masterpiece you have gives you income. So it's, uh, it's a pretty nice one. So next up, we would, we would take this, this, and this to create our first sanctuary, which looks like a pretty good run of options to me. So economy buildings give 20% more. And if it has one building of each type, we can get the goods. All right. Not bad at all. We're still alive. We have um, a live bear on the smugglers. We have uh, Mamadon here on the forces of the Fremen and Atreides are gonna be dandy dragons, the classics. Some of the locals. All right, so let's get that income going. And um, from here, we're gonna build two knowledge buildings or research buildings there. And we need to look at our tech a little bit. So our authority is plus four. So we would take this and this I think is a special region of some sort. We also need to you know, start thinking about water as well. Yeah, something on um, some of the changes. Uh, okay, so that's a nice water region down there. And we have five wind in both of these regions. So that's 64 to take. Let's see what this region actually is once it's uh, done being scouted here. All right, ooh, fuel cells. That is probably one of the most important things for the ECAS because they have really good mechanical units. So next up, let's do the uh, intelligence network. Just get the basics, get the recruitment speed coming and uh, come around the top. And that's gonna be 56. So we can, uh, yeah, we can head here, here, here. And we need to start like looking at what we want to do with our tech because I don't know their tech. So again, 100 Solari upon building a masterpiece. That feels pretty damn good. Okay, so we have an agent. Obviously, the first ones you want to put on Arrakis to make sure you get the authority, which allows you to annex villages. So come down here. And do we want it? Artistic inspiration seems pretty good. And each sanctuary gives you money. I don't hate that. And other unique technologies. I love political art. That's one of my favorite ones. It makes it so when you get elected to an office, it can't go up for election again, um, which is so good. So it really lets you like lock down the political system, which I think is great. All right, so from here, we will get the Plasteel, I think. We're gonna need a lot of Plasteel to develop our empire. It's expensive and costs a lot. Maintenance center, uh, ooh, another, uh, the Great Volcano, that's huge. 
that's really big. All right, so yeah, we 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 have some we have some great options here. Now, as far as military goes, that's for like our war banners. This gives us each faction loses five when they kill my units. Lay of the land is definitely good once you get a couple more bases. All right, so we're scheming it out. We're scheming it out just fine. So that's going, that's going. Saving up Plasteel so I can get some main base buildings if I need to. But yeah, we want to get those fuel cells. They, I don't think they have anything that gives them money for fuel cells. I think it's all dependent on the sanctuaries. But five wind down here. We'll for sure get our water like right away. All right, let's get the free technologies. Grab those. I'm always a little bit lazy about that. We can go ahead and spice out our harvester with another worker. And let's go ahead and get the artistic upgrades. Probably one of my weaknesses as a player is not getting a lot of early military. Uh, I prefer to eco more. It's, it's a risky playstyle, but it's paid off for me in the past. And uh, yeah, we'll see if I get wrecked today because of that. So let's go grab some materials here. And um, what do we have here? We have some information that can be traded. All right, so um, we're gonna need some manpower soon. Let's get water up here. If it has one building of each type there, we get a bonus. Okay, so that gives us a bit of a clear idea of what we wanna do. Maintenance center. Yeah, this is almost ready to be a sanctuary. And when you have the sanctuaries built out, it's really nice. It gives you extra instances of nearby village traits. So it'll double those up. So economy buildings produce more as one of each type. So we can go ahead and get a manpower building here just so we can do things with that. The lands chat is almost upon us. And um, let's slap a heavy militia down there. We've gotten that plasteel, love it. You gotta love it, very happy to get the plasteel. And oh, that's so good. That's actually a spice field, man. We have a nice little sanctuary network. That is for damn sure. That is really, really good. And then we can make this one a sanctuary too by grabbing this territory. So yeah, I, I can already see the lay of the land. So um, we don't want to make ourselves immune to this one. Uh, politics are, yeah, we can, hmm. This is the one that you want, but like every, like Atreides has more votes. So if the Atreides players knows what they're doing, they would vote on that. So I am currently going to do, hmm. Let's decline military with 100. And what that will do is it'll make it so if somebody's trying to be aggressive early, it's going to stifle their aggression, yes, right? So that's just so good. So we're going to grab artistic inspiration. And then from there, we're going to switch on to the statecraft because currently we have a benefit to statecraft development. Honestly, I should probably just do that now because um, it's just so good. So we're going to grab a lot of statecraft. Yeah, which is not the original plan, but you have to adapt to the nature of the game, right? When, when something changes, you got you to gotta play the game. All right, let's get a knowledge building. Um, we can slap that down there. All right, you gotta love it. And we got 44. We need 66 to grab this. Doesn't seem like, okay, we got Fremen over here. The villainous Fremen, they come for us. They think that, they think Arrakis belongs to them, huh? How dare they? All right, so spying logistics. This gives us the minor house gifts. Information levels, yeah, when, okay, that's for assassinating. And political art is pretty rad. So we could just grab these two out of the gates. Yes, Those ones are both lady. pretty good. All right, so we have another agent. Let's throw them on, throw them on Arrakis. And we can probably come down and start clearing this. I think that's going to be a good timing for us. All right, so we need to get fuel cells, so let's grab that. Um, we're going to need a maintenance center too. Maintenance center probably would be the fifth building in this base because it would hit this and this, and also would hit this base if I decide to eventually grab that. And what's funny is you can pillage your sanctuaries. I should be pillaging. Um, it's something that, you know, you look at the ECAS, you're like, oh, they're good guys. We're not going to... Or they're not, they're not the Harkonnens. Why, should, why would we be pillaging? But, you know, obviously we, we should be. All right, so let's get a knowledge building right there. That will kick the village trade off right here. So we're going to get that. Outstanding. And let's go shut you down. Okay, so our first sanctuary is about to be up. And I'll show you guys what that does in a second. And we need to start building some masterpieces. But I kind of wanted to wait on building masterpieces for when I... Okay, so we have the... Yeah, that's the mission that gives you a free knight. Which will turn into a champion eventually. All right, so let's sell a little bit more spice to keep our income in the green. Uh, main base buildings. How do we want to build these guys? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. All right, taking that, it's going to be a second spice field for us. Looks like we've been raided here. So we need to go deal with that. We'll keep you here. Oh, it looks like the main base has got it covered. The MLG main base. It's, uh, it's, it's looking out for us. Let's get a heavy there just so that doesn't happen again. All right, so let's get a maintenance center here because this is getting expensive. So we're going to use our plasteel on that, and then we can kind of decide which direction we want to go in the main base. All right, so fuel cells are popping here. We only have 63 plasteel at the moment, production. Uh, yeah, this gives us plus one in the knowledge buildings. Currently, our knowledge should be pretty good. Come on, give me the maintenance center. That'll save us a lot of money, though, because we have a lot of expensive buildings here. The knowledge buildings are quite pricey. They're quite pricey indeed. Come on, give it to me. Oh, it's like the slowest maintenance center I've ever had. 
All right, so now we have a sanctuary, which is awesome. So the sanctuary here, you can see, uh, we get plus one authority, and nearby regions that neighbor it get a bonus to their um, village quirks, whatever their unique traits are, right? So here I'm going to get plus 20 uh, instead of plus 10, which is super nice. And over here, for example, I'm going to be getting even more data centers, and, you know, it's not great, but it's still, uh, it's still you know, worth it. All right, take the free military tech. Let's go pillage our sanctuary. It's such a funny thing that that's like how that works. It's hilarious. Get a plasteel down there and village traits or statecraft building production. So yeah, you want to, with ECAS, really try and pay attention to all that. So we can do the countermeasures. I don't think so. Yeah, we can keep, we got to take advantage of this free tech because it's not going to be there forever, right? Chome is open. We're not terribly rich right now. Looks like we just had one of our harvesters eaten by a worm. Got to love it. Arrakis is uh, certainly a lovely place. And uh, yeah, we're killing militia, so we're eventually going to get that free knight. It's researching. We could do that. Um, could just go reveal the siege and start trading with them. So we have water down here. We need to get water down here too. Let's slap a heavy down there. We don't quite have that, so let's pillage it. All right, so Landsrad, 50 influence per agent. Yeah, and then political art gain in 15 influence upon building a masterpiece. We could just rush political art while we have this. Because um, then when we start spamming, and we'll, we won't build masterpieces till we have that and artistic inspiration. Because that will give us uh, a, not only money, but also influence on, on upon finishing that. Okay, so we see the smugglers um, pretty close to us. So this is going to be, ooh, the Well of Riches. That's pretty good. It's got the processing plan action. We have another spice field here. We definitely need that. This looks like another sanctuary option too. So we grab that, and then we grab this and whatever's over here. And that should give us the goods. All right, so let's put you here. Assign an Ornithopter. We can do some raiding if we want to. And leave our friends behind. And um, good, looking good. And let's go ahead and get some water down here while we're at it. We have 300 Plasteel. And for this, we got the fuel cells. Um, and if this is if we have one building of each type. So 20% if has one building of each type. Okay. Let's get a knowledge building. We want to we wanna hard tech here. Get the goods. So one, and that'll also give us 40% more production because of the double uh, village trait thing we have. So that's 103 for that bad boy, but I think considering we're playing ECAS, the fuel cells are going to be really worth it. Uh, so you get uh, caves that power your armies up instead. Yeah, he's just doing a little bit of explaining. You might be learning. Yeah, this base kind of sucks here, this region. I mean... Uh, I guess we could surround it. That's not an easy place. I mean, this is actually a decent layout, but we'll just pillage this one now. I'm definitely not going to take that in the immediate future. All right, so anything I want to do down here, let's earn the trust. And we do have the uh, Benny Jezzert Relic. Okay, so let's go grab that if we can. Hopefully these two squires are going to be able to win their fight there. Chome Market is open. Doesn't look like too many people are playing the Chome, but political art is about to finish, and we'll try and get elected to some offices. See if we can benefit and switch you to safe mode, and we can re-equip you. Definitely need to get more manpower buildings. Yeah, so we'll slap one down here and then, eh, we need that spice field though, the spice harvester. I guess we can get that. We'll get it after that. All right, let's do some pillaging. Uh, we have another agent. Let's put him on Landsrad so we can start building up some influence. And we're not really gonna play the influence game until we, or spend our influence until we have something really worthy to spend it on. Yeah, we, we wanna make sure we have the goods. All right, so Lands Chad is coming. I don't think there's gonna be any super pertinent offices coming up. Um, this village is looking nice. We haven't got anything in the main base yet. Probably should save up for that. Um, you know, rarely do I try and trade players. Be like, hey, you want to like trade for Plasteel or whatever, but I almost wonder if it's worth it. Maybe if somebody's like desperate enough, they would. All right, so I'm going to make myself immune to the controlled markets. So that one can't hit me because that one's really bad. And then um, I'm going to decline trial of the great houses. Yeah, I don't, want, I don't want controlled markets on me. That one sucks. And we're going to decline this with 100... You get 100 for free. So that's going to be my play. All right. So hopefully that doesn't hit because that will put me below the Landsrad threshold. Um, currently, it's just me and Atreides playing that game. Um, political art is going to be up. So 15 influence. And uh, wow, that one almost passed. The Fremen almost put, pushed that one through. That's really funny. This will give me some free politics. All right. Outstanding. Let's move there. Okay, so we have another free tech here. That's one of the gifts. So let's send a military unit to collect that. Let's save up for a main base building. I think that's going to be smart. All right, so we got the free trooper. Let's get him. Um, This, yes, we can take that. And come, buddy. Come over here. Can have you grab this, actually. And then we get this village. Uh, What's the garrison look like there? 
I'm watching you for that one. <laughs> Looks like there's already a little bit of squabbling going on. This is a, a good sanctuary spot, though. It's very, very nice. What's the plan? And it's like super tucked away. Fremen are up here. Let's see where we are on the map. Okay, so we actually seem to have a pretty, fairly good spawn, I would say. A lot of good resources around here and, uh, you know, no complaints. All right. So we're poking away. Just a demo militia. They do some okay damage, but they're more for, like, dealing with armor and things like that. So, hmm, uh, do we want to go down the political tree? <sighs> yeah, we probably, do we want to get two powered all units is really nice for us. So I think we want to get military in one of our big branches. Politics, we got knowledge, hedge gains is always really nice. Lands ride council after opening. I mean, there's so many good ones here. The political art is going to be finishing in a second. Um, we can switch off that next and get lay of the land. And then we can go down. No, actually, after that, we want to get artistic inspirations. That was our plan all along. All right, we're going to take this. I need to scheme the main base. This is actually really tricky. Um, so we could get the eco one here to speed along our eco upgrades, which I think would be smart. So that's going to give us that. And then when we switch to eco, that's going to be ready for us. Yeah, I, I like that idea, actually. That feels that feels pretty good. So we're going to get that in the single slot, which will give us the uh, economy development speed. We can take that, preserve the runes. Okay. And we need to get the spice field, so we're going to save up for that next. Let's get the harvesters here. And now we have 10k. So a single can be turned into a garden resort. And now we can make champions too. Okay, so that's that's next on the agenda here. Uh, we can make the fuel cells. Although I don't know if we need to rush those per se, but whatever, it's fine. And oh my god, that's a sanctuary? Oh my god, it's all deep desert. Oh, oh, we just got double sanctuary. That's so good. Holy shit, I didn't know the desolation was here. So this is a, we just got two sanctuaries, man. Oh, that's so prime time. Granted, it's not hitting too many regions, but it's um, that's super good. That's very, very good. Unfortunately, it's only hitting these two, so they're not like the best sanctuaries in the world, and we do lose a spice field because of that. Um, but we can go grab another spice field up here, which is what we're gonna do. So, yeah, outstanding. So that means we're gonna get three instances of the village traits, forty percent cheaper in manpower if we have one building of each type. So, we need to make sure to do that. All right, so we get another agent. Now, outstanding. Let's go ahead and jam on over there. Uh, do we want to build any masterpieces? Do we have any reason to build masterpieces? We already have one of each type here. So that's going to be popping off. And um, we need to get more spice. So I think we just bum rush up and grab a spice field. Because if we're just on one, that's going to suck, like, major, majorly. How's our water? It's at 12. This is 93 to get. By the time we get up there, we should have enough. It's funny. Wow, that layout was, a, was certainly a surprise. All right, let's claim the knight. And let's get him up, coming up top to help. Do we have supply drops? We'll get it in a second, just in case things get ugly. Run over there. And uh, all right, so spice field in a second. It costs 400, so it's pretty pricey. Um, now we have the artistic inspiration. Outstanding. So let's move here. Ooh, this is actually really dodgy. We need to run back. We're, we're not going to make it. Yeah, we because shit, that deep desert screwed us up. I'm going to lose a unit maybe to, to fatigue here. So lack of supplies, that's really unfortunate. I, I didn't think they would quite get in the deep desert there, but they did. Maybe one of these guys will make it back, but you know, Arrakis is a treacherous place. Come on guys, hustle. Oh, looks like I got my whole army back. That would have been really bad. Okay, so the main base building is almost done and we can start on the, um, yeah, each sanctuary gives you water and Solari, which is gonna be great. That'll be plus 30. I wonder if a live bear saw that. You didn't see that. That was embarrassing. All right, so spice field. I guess we have two spice fields now. Do we really need to rush another one? That's right. In my mind, I was like, we, we don't have another one, but we do. So next up, we make sanctuaries. This area is sweet. It's like all miserable ass deep desert. Like, come on, like that's so good. Uh, let's go pillage our sanctuary here. So we're gonna go take that down. And uh, we're not the Harkonnens. We don't need militia and everything. <laughs> that's for sure. Looks like there's a dread storm coming through. So that's building, that's building. Danny Dragon's here. What's up? We got political art, so now we can get influence upon building a masterpiece. Our max influence needs to be increased, though. Which, uh, how do we want to do that? You know, cosmopolitan elegance. Yes, my he's uh, he's looking at me menacingly. Oh no, you're in some danger, huh? Yeah, and I guess we can go pillage these too. But we should grab another territory. So, how do we want to do this? Probably this will be another sanctuary right here, right? That's just my resting smuggler face. Yeah, it would appear so. All right, so we got another ornithopter. Uh, let's have that thing go assign itself to this one down here when we get a chance. So we'll take this base and then we'll take this one. Although maybe we just go take the good one first because it's it's very powerful. 
So something we need to probably focus on is really, really capitalizing on um, riches of Rackus is per controlled special region. Uh, so how many do we have? We have a couple right now. So we have water here. Do we have water? Yes, we do. Let's deploy this and let's get the ornithopter uh, down here and have it be in safe mode. So now we have supply drop. Is there anything else we want to get? Nope, doesn't look like it. I would like to get this one maxed out, although another main base building probably sounds like a good idea. All right, so we can drop the supplies here in a minute, if need be. Now foliage is in play. So we're definitely gonna go with politics. So that's agents. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Knowledge, like getting early knowledge is just super valuable. All right, so that guy's gonna get cleared out. We don't really need to micro that too much right there. I think we're fine. Let's do this. And um, now we can deploy you. Nope, he's being deployed. Let's put him in safe mode. We're gonna play it safe. We're not the Harkonnens. You know, we're gonna, that's, th this unit can't heal by the way, this mercenary unit. So if you're wondering why I'm not like, you know, babysitting that, that's the reason why. Um, village traits down here, like data centers, like whatever, I guess, I guess it's still worth doing. Um, haven't really had the opportunity to build too many masterpieces. No, wow, how did, the, 250 and I have 291. Okay, I do have more votes than them. And then Atreides has got 300, so, I mean, I want this, but I'm not gonna get it. Somebody, somebody is going to take that. So I'm just going to try and get the foreign recruitment and keep saving, keep banking here. Although I think I'm, I think we need to spend a little bit because I'm about to be capped. So I'm going to try and do that. And then we can build some more military units during that window, which hopefully will be good. Uh, special buildings. We do have that place that costs is 40% cheaper here, right? So let's go ahead and get a research station. That's going to be prime time. And um, yeah, we have that. We need to get a building that will help with our, um, yeah, we need a maintenance center on this side. We don't have one here at the moment. So we're paying full upkeep for all these buildings. So let's see how that went. Yeah. Oh, I actually could have won that. Damn. Oh, and I lost that by one. Are you serious? The minor houses. Okay. Yeah, the minor houses cackled on me pretty hard there. So, so far, not, not the best political action, but, you know, it happens. Let's go in Landsrad and uh, let's get some of that. And for this, we can do the insulated valleys, which is good. If you have high water in your regions, it, it just gives you a multitude of benefits. All right, so that's great. And let's get this and uh, get some heavies here. And then we can move up here and grab that. And that's gonna create another sanctuary right here. Which, do we have the village trait statecraft? And if it has one building of each type, so we need to get um, one more unique building there. Not unique, but um, something of the uh, statecraft variant. And that will give us good production. Yes, my All right, so the team's moving along. Uh, agent actions, let's go ahead and do this. Always nice to have a supply drop in the back pocket. Man, look how cheap it is to build in this base because of the village trait times three we have there. <laughs> how good is that? That's pretty rad, isn't it? All right, let's move you back, scoot and shoot. And uh, then we get the research center down here. Can we get it? Give it to me, precious. Give it to me, I know you want to. I think we're okay on Plasteel. I don't think we need too much more. Um, Information levels, okay. Insulated valleys will be done soon. 30% upkeep in villages that, uh, yeah, buildings require one less water. That's really nice. All right, so let's fire that off. Do we have any, like, need to build masterpieces? Yeah, we have a building of each type here. I guess that's, like, a good way to fill out villages. Once you get, like, late game. I don't know, like, if you want to be spamming them early or anything like that, but, yeah, something to think about. All right, so we got 20 of this. We're gonna have a research station there, which is gonna be fat, and that's gonna just pump our knowledge up super, super hard. Let's uh, grab this. And that's gonna finish, so that'll give us knowledge 25%, and then hedge gains, which is great, so our knowledge is up to 11, and then it's gonna skyrocket even further because of this. And now we have another sanctuary, which we can go raid. So we're just gonna do a little sanctuary raiding. Here we can get Plasteel, since it's the unique variable, and a maintenance center is gonna be next up on the docket for that uh, territory. What is this? We get agent recruit speed times two. So yeah, we get that, that's really good. So multiple, uh, our agent recruit speed is gonna be augmented. Let's get some water there. You, you never wanna underestimate the water thing, man. Like you might be like, oh, I don't need it, but it creeps up on you. Just like real life, you thirst, you know? All right, so how are we looking? Yeah, those are all geared out. Uh, Insulated Valley, Riches of Arrakis is pretty good. We have a couple special regions. We're being very greedy though. Um, we should honestly actually get Lay of the Land. That one gives you knowledge for every uh, base you control. So I think that would be the prudent choice right now. And then Plasteel's coming. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can start gearing out the main base. We're gonna go pretty hard in the politics here, pretty hard. Let's pillage that. Pillaging your sanctuary is such a weird thing. 
So strange. Alright, beat him up. Take him down, boys. You have more free technology here, so let's take the influence. Uh, is that, am I capped at 200 right now? No, I think we have a higher cap than that. Okay, units are losing supply, so let's go um, take down the other sanctuaries up here, but first we should heal. That looks fine, and this is going to finish in a second. Good, good. like to get that second knowledge building there if we can, but I, I need to save up for a main base building. So next up, what would we get? Um, Lanzarad after council opening, intelligence agency, max influence. Huh. So let's do the in man. I, let's do the intelligence agency, I guess. Yeah, and try and try and get the agent like agent spam going. I feel like I could be ecoing super hard too. That's what's cool about the Civ is like you have you have so many options with how you want to play. All right, so embassy two hundred max influence will let us like bank really really hard. Although, do we really need that right now? We we definitely want military here. So we will go with, uh, yeah, that's going to be Plaskery and fully built villages will get us dough also. So let's eco a little bit. Politics come into play a little bit later on more so. Yeah, crappy village trades here. Pretty terrible, actually. Like, it just got awful. So in that case, we can just build masterpieces, maybe. Um, we have the wind. Yeah, masterpieces could just be plopped down there. I too have a, okay, yeah. Am I being attacked by anybody? I don't think so. Smugglers are on our border. Which is not good. They're eyeing us like a piece of meat over here. Let's get a maintenance center. And probably should stop being so greedy and get some military tech, but this is really greed. This is like super greedy. Ugh. That's how I roll though, man. You know, that's how I play games a lot of the times. You win some, you lose some. Uh, if it has uh, one building of each type, so let's get another. Yeah, we need an uh, eco building here. So let's just go ahead and grab water and pillage this. Chum shares are available. Uh, we'll take a look at the chum market in a second and see who's actually playing it. Oh, this is so greedy. All right, what does this actually do? All right, all these like things popping up give me a little bit of anxiety here. All right, so riches of Arrakis, we have what? Two special regions or three, I think. We got at least two, so that's gonna be 4% Solari production because of that. And then we can go hit this, looks outstanding. And you down here, probably gonna need some manpower buildings to fuel our war efforts um, at some point here. Supply drop. Although they had full supplies, that was a waste. I, I thought they didn't after that last uh, last go, go at it there. Yes, we'll make you our champion. Um, so yeah, we're going to make him a champ. Let's get him back in our region here. Yes, my lady. And he is going to be our champion. Come on, leave combat. Oh man, okay, he's going to he's gonna die now. Yeah, just go clear these off first, lads. And then we can make you the champ afterwards. Not a huge deal. Okay, so maintenance center is going to cost reduce us here. Agent recruit speed and Solari if we kill things. Come on, keep going. You can do it. All right, so we managed to get away there. Do we want to get a thumper? How are we doing financially? We're doing okay. We're going to get some eco buildings. And then we need to get the chome branch. So riches plus chome integration. And then and then we can finally go military. Oh, Shai Halud, no. Shai Halud's trying to eat me here. All right, let's make you a champ. So he's our champion now. So he's going to be super turbo Chad. Let's permanently gain 30. All right, so we can start building out our bases. So let's max out the knowledge in this base. We're already at 23 knowledge, which is pretty bonkers. All right, so am I eligible for any charters yet? No, we need to start building. Um, so I have 403, 250, and yeah, I mean, I could win that, but it's not worth my, my votes. I'm just gonna put, um, no, I need to decline economic investigations. If this goes off, it's really gonna slow me down. I'd have to switch into politics. All right, so we're gonna actually decline that with like 150. Hopefully that'll be enough. I don't really need authority right now. I'm like doing just fine. Um, we'll grab this other spice field though, if they're not gonna take it, and we'll try and make a sanctuary here. Oof, that's tough. Yeah, smugglers are a tricky one to fight for sure. They can be tricky to aggress on because of the um, because of the prevalence of uh, what's it called, snipers. Snipers are very nasty. We see the fremen here. I don't want to make like that. Sometimes with people, that's all it takes is you just at like doing one thing like that, and then they're going to come at you hard. Minor houses. Did the minor houses uh, vote him? Yeah, they did. Wow, look at that. Minor houses for the win. All right, so cruising across. We've taken those down. Uh, main base building is looking good. The chum branch is not yet available. Modular parts is coming. Good, and then we can get the spice operations uh, a little bit stronger because we need a better eco than we currently have. Go pillage this village. Honestly, I like that idea better. Turning this into a sanctuary, I think that's a very clean play. All right, so let's make another knight. 
They're kind of expensive, but should be fine. So let's head up here. This is definitely antag antagonizing the Fremen a little bit. It's uh, sort of on their border here. All right, so let's just go ahead and make a masterpiece here. Although, do we have, yeah, we have that. Is there anything else we really need here? An airfield could be pertinent, and there's the spacing yes, guild. Stupid desert here, man. It's like, it's so rough. Oh, shit, trolls us so good. Hmm. Yeah, military factory. We can do the experimental furnace, which will give us a big eco boost. Where would I put that, though, is the question. Um, this could be a good spot for the experimental furnace, actually. Because that hits, like, this region, which is giving us a shit ton of money, and it also hits this one. And it will hit this rare mineral, which we're going to take. So that that's definitely uh, a really good spot for that. But we need to get some better units. We're starting to get a little bit aggro. Um, so let's get Chome integration and then go into military. We we can't mess around any longer. Now that we're bordering people, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty pretty scary here in a minute. Take the free military tech. Hopefully it's something useful. Let's take that influence there, and this knight can come up, and then we can move over and grab this. And that's gonna be our frontier basically. That's gonna be where we're uh, where we're looking to do battle. Let's get this knight over here to help. Uh, we can hire them for a raid if we want to. Yeah, we have a lot of that, so you can see masterpieces are looking good. Masterpieces will give us lands Chad standing. Okay, so we're healing up here. Let's do a spice field. Let's get a couple of these, and um, definitely you're going to want to get some uh, some turrets and different things there in a moment. This is a wow, there's there's a lot of good regions here. This is definitely going to make us a little bit public enemy number one, which is my one concern. Like, we're expanding onto a lot of great territory. Alright, so we got manpower down here. Do we need Plasteel? We don't. Do we need knowledge? I think we're adequate on knowledge right now, so let's... Uh, although, more no knowledge is always good. It's always good. Have that. At your yeah, it's always really nice. You uh, Building masterpieces on frontier bases is usually a good idea, because people will... Um, people will not want to lose their... Uh, their lands rad standing, and that's being taken over actually by a renegade base, which is good because we can farm it for spaceship parts. All right, so that looks fine here. Now this is we have one building of each type. How's our manpower looking? Not good enough. We need that to be a little bit better since we're going to be potentially in conflict now. Let's get another heavy there, and we can get this. Let's go grab this special region. And yeah, we're pretty crunk. I mean, having this whole natural barrier there, I think, is great. We're at 27 water, and this is going to give us another sanctuary, and we can... Oh, you know what we can do? Is we can make this our garden resort, which is so nice. Because then, um... If you attack this, you lose Landsrad standing. Although, I could also make this our garden resort. Hmm. We're going to have to plan that. We're going to have to plan that pretty hard. I feel like somebody might want to try and assassinate me. So, after, after I get a couple military attacks, maybe go into countermeasures... And make sure I'm not getting karate shop there. Let's actually go into counterintelligence here and here. I, I don't want to get I don't want to get owned here, obviously. So let's make a turret and uh, secure that base. Uh, we get something for military production actually, so we can make a masterpiece here. Masterpieces are really good to build in frontier bases, like I said, because they um, they dissuade you from the enemies from attacking, right? So we need to get a airfield here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! Come on, finish it! Finish it! Oh, that was close. He realized he wouldn't make it in time. And we were able to get that. Just the prank, he says. Nice. Okay, well, we're going to build a missile turret just in case. All right, so that was that was a little dangerous. That was a little bit dangerous. But the furnace is up, so now we're getting pretty good money, um, even considering we're not that deep into the chome. We need more manpower. That is for sure. So this gives us money per military base. We have another sanctuary here now. It's outstanding. So let's get that. And, um, yeah, with turrets, we need to be able to get some of our, our mech units. And they come from this. Yeah, the war banner is really good. That's like, because they just give you so many stacking buffs and whatnot that it's pretty insane. All right, so next up, we need to get our max influence increased. Um, the Landsrad quarters, because you can see we're being capped out at 300 right now, which is really unfortunate. That's like wasting quite a bit of ours, our, uh, our potential. Let's grab that. And um, we need to get the epic quest and this. And uh, get some more heavies in there to defend that. Looking good. Not really too worried about the other side. I don't think there's going to be any substantial threats over here. Um, we do have maintenance center, so let's go ahead and throw down more knowledge. So we're at 29 knowledge right now. We should be out-teching most of these lads. 
I would suspect. We have an airfield here. This area is pretty vulnerable down there, unfortunately. Honorable knights are here. The ECAS is upon us. So yeah, smugglers are pretty small. They don't have like too big of an empire, which is which is outstanding. Um, this is going to be getting us some rare minerals. And um, where do we get that maintenance center? We have one here. This is the only region not being affected by a maintenance center. We got the heavies here. Is he gonna attack me is the question? He says my intention is to take the Rangnigades. Uh, go for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, he, he can take him, it's fine. It, it might give him the Wraith, but I'm not looking to get in conflict right now. I'm, I'm playing very techy. So, um, you know, he's not going to have the piece later on, but for now he gets it. For now he gets it. All right, let's get one more heavy there to make sure I don't get backstabbed by the Fremen there. Plascrete factory limit, and we also get that. Is there any more? We want to get Plascrete. I don't think we need it, per se. All right, so... Nobody's eligible for these yet. Soon we will be. Oh, uh, the elected faction. No, these are all fine. It's not worth leveraging. My lands are outstanding. It's actually better than the Atreides, which is funky. They're getting plus ten. Um, do I want peace with the smugglers? Let's get to business. He's reasonably rich. So let's go ahead and vote this on them. Yeah, I think... I mean, the upkeep one is nice, too. I could just grab that. But I've been banking for a while. Let's see. Who has more than me? 250, 430. Yeah, let's vote ECAS for that. That's going to make us a lot of money. Yeah, uh, we're going hard for that one. Let's see if we get it. <laughs> Overkilled that. Sure as hell didn't need to vote that much. But you can see our income is, is quite massive now. So uh, I'm not unhappy about that. And uh, cool, we can start building up the lands chat influence again. So we need to get some listening posts uh, on our border territories. That's really important when you're playing um, politics. So we're going to slap one down there. And we'll slap one down here. And that will start giving us influence. And here we can get one also uh, with the Fremen. Which one do I want to make the garden resort, though? I'm really not sure what would be the ideal way. All right, so yeah, we have upkeep production. So we're going to bank quite a bit of money. How's the chum market looking? People are not really playing Chome super hard, but if I get rich later, oh my god, if I were a real degenerate, I could totally backstab him now, but I told him I wasn't going to attack him, so we're not going to. All right, let's go down here, and um, that looks good. We're getting our dough. Let's get a listening post here, and then we need to get one up here too, and uh, that, that will give us plus three production here, which is going to be fat, and we can make some war banner units now. War banners are very good. They, um, I'll show you all the stats as soon as we get one. Let's buy a little bit of chome, because if we can get to 10% chome, then we uh, get the benefit of getting plus two influence production. And we're also going to be getting, yeah, so Landsrad Quarters is now done. So we can bank like a million, a million uh, Landsrad. Kind of fun playing politics. I'm, it's usually not my jam. Usually I'm playing like ch like money. A live bear, what does he want? How can I? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Uh, I can't break pacts, but the reason why I'm taking that is because it's going to increase my lands chat standing. I'm only at 223, man. I need to I need to pump the jams on the lands rad, that's for sure. Did I miss a payment or something? No, I haven't. Okay. Weird. So we'll put a little bit more in the bank. There must have been something that affected that. Alright, so up here we got listening posts, listening posts, and listening posts. So you can see we're now getting some good political influence. Let's use our manpower to sauce these up. Spice crew reporting. Let's put you in safe mode. That was the plan all along. And now the main base building is here. So 10 lands right after council opening. This one's really good though. Intelligence agency. Granted, our like missions aren't like super OP or anything like that. Um, I gotta plan this a little bit. So we got countermeasures coming out. Hmm. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. I, I gotta, I gotta scheme this. This is, this is kind of a hard decision to be completely honest. Let's get the Chome branch for now. Because that one is the one that just makes you super wealthy. Let's go raid this. Take that influence. Yes, get the money. You can get that later. And we got the listening posts. Uh, production, 10% production in that region. Okay, so that's just the basic trait. And now we can go ahead and max out on lands rad. And, uh, oh, isn't this a sanctuary? So it's not a sanctuary? It is, right? But why does it give me the option to capture it? That's weird. Well, anyways, I, I didn't think that would be an option if you had it as a sanctuary, but I guess it is. See, so if something's like, you know, desperate, you can you can do it. 
So 20% if it has a building of each type. So this is a good re region to start. Um, and then we have data center production too. Um, wouldn't be terrible to get some data centers. Would not be terrible. But we do get money for these. So I'm just gonna, like, I'm not a big data center enjoyer. The ECAS missions are okay. It's nothing like terribly exciting for me. Okay, so war banners, uh, ECAS non-mechanical units in a large area gain power and non-mechanical units uh, nearby suffer 10% power loss, right? So if you have a bunch of these, it like stacks up, I believe. I could be wrong, but um, you can you can get some nasty work done. So let's keep buying into the chome, try and get up. Um, our influence production is great now. And let's grab this for the free military technology. We now have countermeasures. And uh, is there anything else we want to do over here? Not really. Uh, all right, so let's get the spice production maxed out, I guess. We have 31. It's been more of a SimCity game. It's been pretty chill. Um, Fremen might attack me. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. And let's go ahead and just throw down another masterpiece here. I think we have the military one already, so let's go ahead and get this. And um, we need to get our special building, like our big uh, spaceport. So we're just going to build that down here where it's nice, secret, and safe. Okay, our lands chat is... is it's weird. Like, nobody's lands chat is, like, super good here. We're all kind of in the pits a little bit. Oh, shit. Oh, man. It's so easy to miss things like that, isn't it? Like, I would be so sad if I lost this base. God damn, that would be terrible. So, it definitely reminds me I need to build an airfield over here. I could... Hmm, what would I destroy? Maybe this research hub? Already at 31. Oh, my God. If I had looked a second later, I would just be so far behind. That, that That's a ton of authority that would have been lost. All right, so it looks like we're going to get that. And um, we could even build it down here. Although over here seems as good a spot as any. Let's get that. You'll notice how we're really tight on fuel cells now. It's crazy how quickly the ECAS go through them. It's uh, you, you have all those special buildings and, you know, it adds up. Let's get some heavies here. That's why I put heavies everywhere. I probably didn't have that many here. Okay. We're not going to have enough to even get our big mothership. Um, is there any more on the map I'm missing? So we see another spice field over here. I'm definitely going to go grab that. Although it looks like it was recently devastated, so I'm not going to be able to get it. Okay, it's fine. Get some musketeers. <laughs> the three musketeers. The knowledge place. Okay. Is that a mountain range? And then income over there. If he's going to be at peace with me, I might as well just start grabbing all this shit. Right? This could be a, a good sanctuary spot. Hmm. Yeah, the big mothership is good. We probably build the fuel cell building. It's a military building that is uh, not bad at all. So 10 rounds are out. Having at least one treaty with another faction grants a production bonus of 10% of its associated resources. I mean, that's not bad, especially with the smugglers. Um, uh, intelligence agency is good too. It gives you agent recruit speed and operational slots, but let's go with the embassy. I, I wanna try actually playing politics. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually give politics a good, old, a good old try here. How long till that's open? Gonna be four days. Yeah, let's just chill out. Let's not like give our opponent any inkling of what might be happening here. Uh, nobody's eligible for anything quite yet. Yeah, nobody's eligible quite yet. This is gonna give us uh, plus 100 votes, which is great. So that will be fat. Let's get those militia slots. Keep gearing out all our villages here. Airfield's going down. And all right. Chome buying price? I don't like that. I definitely don't like that. Statecraft development's being slowed. I mean, I'm already done with statecraft, so it probably would be a good idea to do that, just to try and punish. So everybody's voting right now, taking their turns. Oh yeah, you can see, actually Atreides is here. So they have they have enough lands red standing. Yeah, I need to uh, I need to get my lands red up stat. I'll be able to get it pretty quickly here by spamming out masterpieces. They give me, I think three per that I build. Okay, so let's decline this. I'm just going to decline this. I don't really care about the other ones. And then let's buy some chome before that potentially goes down. We're at 5% chome. Yes, my lady. And uh, did that pass? Oh, it did. Yeah, the small houses were like, yeah, we don't want you guys playing uh, politics today. So we're going to vote on that. So let's go to the armory. What war banner upgrades? So power, tax destroy armor probably is good. And max health and then 10 solaria upkeep. Jeez, that's a lot. Um, I guess we can wait till we fight somebody to get the military upgrades. This is going to be free in a second, that spice field. If I can get that, that's going to be pretty pretty awesome, I would say. Yeah, and I have some of the good upgrades. Heavies, let's gear them out. Might as well spend our manpower. Make sure we're not too vulnerable. And now Chome support's going. Nice. 
So we should be able to crew these out even more now. So crew you, crew you, and crew you out. Oh, we need a little bit more. Always a little bit scary doing that right before you potentially go to war. So we have a non-aggression with the smugs. Um, man, it's so risky. Smugglers are taking middle. I'm pretty good on the hedge game. So are Fremen, though, but I, I'm hedging a little bit too hard, I think. I think I definitely will kill the smug try and kill the smugglers at some point. I'm not going to say that with any absolute authority, because uh, I don't believe that that's going to happen. Space and guild branch. Ugh, God, I hate that. Having to give up spice, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, so statecraft is slowed. And then uh, we get villages, uh, extra money from pillaging and whatnot. Okay, so we're going to go get this. Hopefully, the smugglers could turn on us. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see that. That would be totally, uh, totally understandable. So, this region, what do we want to produce? We could build a spice silo here, but I like just setting up masterpieces to be kind of annoying and make the villages undesirable for my foes. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I lose lands, Rad, if I destroy masterpieces. Like, if I destroy my own masterpieces? Probably do, right? So, airfield down here? I mean, I don't see anybody who's going to be attacking down there. Water has been taken in the middle, and that's going to max out our political system. And then we can go hard into the old um, into the old military tech. So let's do that. And then recruitment center is always good for the manpower. Helps you sustain in long, grindy fights. Let's get some heavies here, and let's get a spice harvester. Yes, my lady and cool. We didn't start uh, start the fire. Some okay. He's talking about something. I don't know what's going on with my boy up there. He's chilling out. Okay, let's get you on the chome. Could he be infiltrating, trying to assassinate me and whatnot? So I get a Benny Jesuit if I betray or sign a truce with an opponent. Um, let's go ahead and try and make peace with the Fremen. We'll see if they take it. If they do, then that's going to give me a Benny Jesuit agent, which will be incredibly strong, incredibly good. Uh, do we need influence? Did he take it? He declined it. Oh, oh, hostile from him. Okay. So we might need to go up there and try and take that fuel cell from him in that case. Although securing this region down here is very nice. Uh, so we got that. Yeah, too expensive for me to cancel non-aggression packs. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I get that. That's part of the strategy. <laughs> I'm watching. Okay, so I, I think the chome regulation did go into effect. Okay, so buying chome right now is kind of stupid. Uh, let's reveal a siege, and we'll grab this, and um, let's see what else we want to get. Let's take the manpower here. We got that. We got that. I really don't want to give up influence. I, I, I am looking to crush it in the influence department here in a minute. All right, so water. We're pretty good on the water game. Uh, let's go ahead and get another listening post here and deploy you. And let's do that. Just, I guess we're in greed mode now. We don't have too many other choices. Let's finish grabbing that and go deal with these raiders. And that is the Wraith, which is not a good sign. That's things pretty damn hard to kill. The monument I need to get, but man, ship parts are just not uh, not super available without me really tanking uh, other variables in my empire. Okay, that is in my sanctuary. Not, not really worth it, so maybe we'll beat up that siege later and take their resources. We'll find out. The listening post, water maybe there, so that's good. This is looking fine here. And we can go ahead and get a airfield here too, I think is gonna be smart. Yeah, maintenance center would have been good for that too. Yeah, you know what, let's cancel the airfield and we can get a maintenance center. And I think we need an airfield over here somehow. So we're gonna destroy this and get an airfield. This one's just like really vulnerable over here. So we need to make sure we can protect that. All right, so we're fully done on the eco. So now we need, um, yeah, war banners producing manpower is pretty sweet. So let's just get all that stuff. So spice. And manpower has been taken. Cool. So we're alive. We ain't dead. Take that influence. We're at four or five hundred. We should be pretty close to getting. Um, yeah, and this is another special region. What kind of special region is this? This is a recruitment office hedge. We have so much. We we gotta just grab shit at this point. You know, like whatever. It's uh, if if he wants to fight, yeah, that's just how it's gonna be. That's how it's going to be, which is a great song by Third Eye Blind. Uh, all right, so maintenance center here. We don't really need it. Get a missile turret just to be safe. We're grabbing that region. And hopefully we uh, don't get turned on by the smugglers, but likely we will. Because if I were him, I would. If, if someone was encroaching on me like this, like this tight, I'd be like, man, that is not welcome. 
He must express, <laughs> express you expand the other way. I have a response for him. That's what she said. Hell yeah, dude. I just got him so good. He's going to come after me so hard, though. This is, this is going to be war, and I, I don't know if I'm ready for, for it. <laughs> it's just the expand the other way. Okay. So back here, what do we want to get? We can get a spice silo. Yeah, that'll benefit the other spice field nearby. And uh, this region, let's gear it out. Get that. And um, now we can just start dropping masterpieces here. Just to meme. Because then if he takes that region, he's going to lose Landsrad and all that, right? <laughs> if I can get those, that sounds like fighting words. So we're just expanding towards him and just, uh, oh man, it would have been nice. But I'd have to go over there and grab that special region too, which is which is very far away. So that's done. That's looking done. Uh, bases are mostly built out, I think. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Not quite down here. Now Landsrat is up. So am I eligible for anything? The elected faction gains... Okay, I'm definitely going to take that. I mean, I should... 700 votes? Yeah, I have the most votes. And I can build them up pretty quickly, so I think it's okay if I expend all my votes here. Because this is so good. This is going to be like friggin' five, 6,000 gold. Harkonnen is immune. The affected faction loses 30 Landsrad? Oh. Okay, then. I'm not voting for that. Um, sure. Let's just vote this for myself, I guess. So we get our free votes here. We're just going to do that. Yeah, I, I, it's not worth losing the Lance Shad. Whoever gets that is going to be sad. Yeah, so he just tanked his Lance Rad standing down to 245. So he's not going to be eligible for a couple things now. And uh, we can start supporting um, Water Sellers would be good for us. I the Council is good. What does that one do? Yeah, two extra agents. Let's support that. So we're going to support Water Sellers and try and win it on the next uh, round of affairs. We're going to set up Masterpieces near his base. Uh, I could even make this a garden sanctuary. The garden sanctuaries benefit more from having, like, if I make this a garden sanctuary, I get knowledge per adjacent sanctuary. And I believe, what else do I get? Yeah, we'll see where he wants to attack before we get too crazy with that. I could just take this, just gear it out. That region's being developed nicely. Good, good. No big ship parts for us. So that's going to be one big disadvantage we have. Let's get the barracks for the military power. And yeah, we're up at 265 Landsrad standing now. Water Sellers Union, considering we invested in it um, with our influence that you saw us just do, it'll probably come up next. Smugglers are at 550. I'm at 821, so I'm crushing them politically. Yeah, I definitely am. Now we can start buying uh, Chome and have that be like an alternate win condition for us. If I take this, that's just going to be open hostility. Which I wouldn't be surprised, but you know, if he wants to tank his Landsrad standing. Making this a Guardian world would be so funny too. Holy shit, like right up on his base. And we just get a listening post there. Alright, so do we have any way of like getting our army back is the question? Because he's going to come at me like a like a wrecking ball here as soon as, as soon as this goes down. Probably need a military base here too. Um, I think we can sacrifice one Plascrete uh, to get a military base. Because he's obviously going to want to attack in this region. And Plasteel isn't like super uh, rough for us right now. So making packs with the Atreides is always tough. You know. It's not something you want to do. Because they really benefit from it. But this will become a sanctuary. In a moment. So we got the spice fields. Let's go ahead and get the spice silo. To get the extra spice. And let's keep buying Chome. Let's buy up to that 10%. Yeah, you can see the percentages are pretty good for us. Man, this is like shady as hell. This is like so far away from our base. Granted... In this game, it takes a long time to drag people down. So we're rich. We're making so much. We can maybe play a multitude of victory conditions. Okay, okay. And there we go. So we take this. He's using scavenger teams here? Oh, that's funny. Okay, let's do that. And then we can do this. He might come and try to stop me here. I would if I were him. Am I out of non-aggression with him? I'm not. Okay. And then we get a listening post here for the politics. Whoa, what was that? I just saw something pop up. I think it was for uh, for Landsrat or something. Okay, we have countermeasures. We're not fully geared out on the countermeasures though, which I don't like. Um, we need to get the uh, the one that gives us more max agents. All right, so we're taking all these goodies. Like we're not making friends at all here. <laughs> we're just trolling on the old borders. Oh God, I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Oh no. 
That's gonna make me some enemies for sure. All right, so how's the space looking here? Looking fine. It's not time yet. Not even going for it. Yeah, that's a that was that was stupid. That was stupid. Oh god. Oh man, I I can't really defend myself here in that it, it, like with that. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. All right, so we're getting that. We have a sanctuary down here, which is cool. So that's going to augment our village traits. And do I start fighting? The smugglers look pretty small. They don't look like they have a lot. Um, let's. We want to get Water Sellers Union up. Let's go ahead and keep buying. Are we at 10%? We are, which is outstanding. Our army is pretty damn small. I don't think we could beat much of, uh, much of anything. Let's reveal another siege here. Foliage is almost there. Fuel cells. We can build that on the bottom. But firstly, let's get the Military Academy. We still have eight fuel cells, so it's not like we're helpless in the fuel cell department. We can get water here. Um, and then for the last trick here in this region, we can go ahead and get a water as well. Because we're if we get water cellars, we want to have a, a good surplus. I'm, I'm legit not going to grab anything else. But I've been turbo greedy with this. And um, do we want to get an airfield over here? We could get another listening post, which would be great. What does this region actually give? Okay, so let's get a start throwing down some masterpieces here, just to trundle about. All right, great. Yes, my, lady my army is not that strong. Uh, military propaganda, yes. Siege incentives would be nice if we decided we want to attack anybody. I suspect there's going to be a muster against me soon. I don't know how many of them I can fight off at once. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Okay, looking all set, looking all set. Down here, we need to max this out. What could we possibly benefit from? We already have a spice field nearby, so not going to help too much. Just get an intel building. Why the hell not? We, we probably need at least a little bit of, uh, of intel. So which one gives us more agent spots? Is, it, is, there, is it down here? Oh, not uh, more max agent capacity. Are we limited on that? Let's see. When use of intels, okay, okay. We'll have to keep looking through all that. I never got this, which is unfortunate. Uh, could try an assassination of the smugglers. That would be that would be quite interesting. Don't know how well that would work, but we're about to get the logistics here, so that's going to unlock the command post and the main base, which is yeah, that's a really essential one. Unfortunately, we could cut the manpower one, replace that with uh, with the fuel cells, since our manpower is pretty maxed out here. Almost maxed out. Yeah, I think all the other ones are close. So I can't break a pact, which is hilarious. I think I can break it politically. Get to business. Can I? Can I do that? Yeah, I can break it politically. But you know, may, uh, there there's certainly an argument to be made for going after the smugglers before uh, things get too crazy. So we're gonna keep, start buying up Chome. I think I'm getting the hang of the ecas. Granted, I think I blundered in a couple ways. Oh no, shit! We're already maxed on influence, and I just took that. That was stupid. Yeah, you live and you learn. Uh, we can actually leave it there. Good. Water Sellers Union. Hell yeah. Okay. So the elected faction, huh, that's really good if I can get that. But Water Sellers is definitely better. The evil smugglers would say that. <laughs> Look at his smug face. Vote Dandy. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can outvote these guys. I'm going to try and outmuscle them. I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, can I beat both of them? I'm hoping their greed will turn against one another. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah, buddy, we got it. All right, so we got the Water Sellers Union. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So now we're going to be making a bunch of money from that, which uh, let's see how much it actually is. Water Sellers Union, uh, it's plus 62. That's really good. <laughs> Look at his smug face. That's so funny. All right, so let's grab this, and then we can get another masterpiece over here. And just make those villages very undesirable. Who voted? Who voted for who in that? That's okay. Yeah, they all greeted. They all greeted. <laughs> I love it. I love that so much. All right. So now in the main base, we can get another building. Let's get command post, and then we should be able to muster a respectable army once we get uh, military propaganda. Then we can attack. Well, I don't know how the hell I'm going to beat his Air Force. Um, let's see what kind of DACA we can get on the Musketeers. Can we get the EMP? Yeah, so we need to get against mechanical units. 
Shrapnel, does he, does he have anything against, no. Unfortunately, they don't have any ammo against the, uh, the biggins. So let's gear out our knights for battle. So we're going to get the power, obviously. And um, armor, and then they lose power. Max health. And uh, padded shielding is not bad, but smugglers don't really have... I mean, area damage? Would that help against the mortis engine ship? That's my question. For you, power... Yeah, shrapnel. Armor destruction is always pretty good. And um, then we can get the shielding on you. As far as musketeers go, we'll just get the power. And if anybody wants to attack here, it's like not certainly not ideal. It's definitely not ideal. Let's grab some water there, since it's a good water region. We're at 21k. Uh, we really don't need the authority too much. We're rebuilding our influence pool. Fremen have gotten on the. That's good. I need the Fremen to get on the board, so then they're they're perceived as a threat too. You know what I'm saying? I can't be the only one looking looking scary here. Uh huh. Do we want to take that? Is there any sense in it? Am I insane, or are my harvesting teams losing people? Uh, no idea. Maybe there's some... Uh, it's probably... Probably smugglers. <laughs> I have to politic against them in the most shitty way possible. Just the, the bronze politics. Alright. So, let's see here. How do we want to play this out? Missile turret. Um, we can get a maintenance center, which would... There's, like, no upkeep in this region as is. So that's not really a big deal. Unfortunately, the smugglers, like, empire is really small. Wow, really? Yes, they were able to kill my garrison there? Okay, so I gotta, I gotta go run over there and deal with that. Uh, we can send our knights to go deal with that. Just the biggins. They'll hustle it. I guess that's why I needed an airfield over there, but, you know, it is what it is. You know what? Is this a blessing in disguise? I think it is. I think it is. I am gonna let them decap that. Because it will take, it'll bring my hedge down, and then I won't be perceived as such a villain. You know what I'm saying? Ah, man, what a what a fortuitous turn of events. All right, so let's get this. Let's deploy you, regear you out. We have the Landsrad Guard, which are pretty badass. We can make militia. And we can keep buying into the chome. We can get 30% chome. That's a pretty big military boost. Also, it's pretty fat. Okay, so that's going to be taken. Yes, it will take away one of our sanctuaries, which does suck, but I think it's worth. Um, our land's rad's at 325. We're the highest right now. And since I have political art, um, Water Cellars Union cannot go up. So I would like to get Eye of the Council. So let's get that. Um, smugglers still have a lot more votes than me, but not by much. So I'm going to try and push that forward. Okay. Now let's do a little bit of research on what I want to do. Okay, so we lost that, see? Perfect, so no longer am I a threat. That was that was very, very, very good, actually. I think that was the play. So let's look at this together. We don't have our garden resort yet. I haven't really schemed that out. Um, max agents, I don't even know where you get that with these guys. Stealth gear and agents on the field. Uh, okay, I don't know if it's somewhere else here, maybe? Military, native artists, every masterpiece increases relations with the siege. Siege incentives is probably next, though, because we need to uh, take down, we need to kill the smugglers. If we kill them, then we can probably just win politically after that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill the smugglers. That's that's for damn sure. But um, let's get war banners and uh, war banners and get some musketeers. All right. And we keep chumming it all the way to the bank, baby. I don't care if the prices are high. We're rich. We can do whatever we want. So, you know, they always say the parking tickets are basically just, uh, you know, for the rich, they can just do illegal shit because they can afford it. All right, so the Wraith is going to be a problem. I don't know how I kill that thing. Um, we need him to attack into our base. He's clearly going to want to soon. Okay, so now I'm back up. It's a good thing I lost that territory, or man, I would have been, uh, been public enemy numero one. Okay, so I don't think he cares too much about Landsrad standing, so let's go here. If we make this our garden fortress, we get uh, we get influence per masterpieces in adjacent regions. That's good too. Or knowledge per adjacent sanctuary. So this would give us four knowledge. Uh, we have a lot of masterpieces here and here. We also have some. Yeah, this one might be a good garden sanctuary here. Oh, this is actually a really good garden sanctuary. Yeah, so that's gonna give us, um, yeah, we you can see we're getting knowledge as well as influence from that. Nice. It's a, it's a nice little spot. Okay, so the war banners are coming up. Siege incentives is on the way. 
Could try an assassination scheme. Could try a little assassination. Um, hmm. I don't know how the fight's gonna go, honestly. I'm a little bit nervous. That Mortis Engine ship is really brutal. We only have five range units, although the War Banners are actually ranged too, so they can shoot at it. So we're gonna have to just blast that thing down and hope for the best. Like, the problem is I could get steamrolled pretty hard. Okay, so this makes things a little bit easier. Is he just raiding me? Huh. Interesting. I have an airfield, so I can I can fly, I think. Yeah, so let's move here. Do that. And the Fremen are looking a little bit crazy. I'm definitely going to get backstabbed by the smugglers. We can take a fight with the Fremen, actually. We've had a lot of downtime here, so I'm going to go and try and give you guys some action. So we'll go get the fuel cells from the Fremen, and maybe that will uh, work out for us. All right, let's deploy it. Looks like it's all safe. And now we have um, architectural. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm going to make myself immune to that shit. We're going to vote this on the smugglers and go for the kill. Yeah, that's really good. War of Assassins is also not a bad one. So siege incentives. Um, 12 days. It will finish in the next cycle, and then, then I can really kill main bases really, really damn quickly. Okay, so let's vote this on the smugglers. Sure as hell, don't want it on myself. Uh-huh. Yeah. See if that goes. Look at them. They're all politicking against me right now. You gotta love it. Is there any sense in steamrolling the smugglers back? Because they're gonna start s saying stuff about this. Like, as soon as I start attacking them, they're going to be like... Oh, shit, okay. Are we going to get eaten by a worm here? Uh, all right, so moving in. We're going to do the epic quest. Shy Halud it. To try and keep him from getting in there. I think we're on rock, so we're all right. Uh, we get a couple knights. Yes, we kill the militia here. Holy shit, his, like, his... Oh, he's actually got army here. Oh, I was like, I was like, what the hell is going on here? Why is he so jacked? But he actually had some standing army there, so that would explain it. Okay. Holy shit. Okay, we're about to get eaten here, like absolutely eaten. All right. So next up, let's make some more banners. I just lost my army to Frem. No P. He's gonna, he's gonna pass me. Are we still actually doing okay here? No, we're not. And maybe he attacks, I'm not sure. Let's get the worm call. And uh, do we want to get live performance? Scavenger teams is probably the way. All right, so we got you guys. The war banners, we didn't have our full force there. We're gonna get more knights. And that territory, it's it's in my back pocket. You know what I'm saying? Fremen are gonna counterattack me, but the masterpieces are there. They'll lose some authority and we can probably get some troops up there in a moment. Although we would have to get some mercs probably. Let's keep buying Chome. Do that, and um, the knights are here. Is there any sense in going to fight up there? Can I take that many warriors? I don't think so. If he takes it and becomes public enemy number one, that actually might be like a huge political boon for us. Might be a huge political boon. I wish I could get spaceship parts somehow. Okay, so he's liberating that, but we can. Uh, we have a little bit of time. We have a little bit of time, and if he does take it, is it the end of the world? Yeah, we lose the sanctuary, which is which is bad. And um, yeah, now the smugglers might poke their heads in here. We're still in non-aggression with them. The worm call is scary. We don't have an airfield. He destroyed that. That was smart. And we'll have a lot of units popping out. Oh, Atreides just took that bottom territory. <laughs> what the hell is that? Atreides with like the random grab? Oh my god. But that's a good strategy with the Atreides too, because you can um, you can f then fly over there and just be like a tyrant. You know, it's it's very very clever. Let's get some mercs. Uh, how are we doing on Chome? We're at 18%, which is respectable. Smugglers are not attacking us yet. We need to go stabilize this base, if, if possible. Let's get a couple of these. So we got a lot of range units. And the knights are about to pop out. So we should be able to beat down this Fremen army. I suspect. Uh, I suspect we will. Maybe he's going to call a worm call on us. That would be a smart play. Be very, very good. We got the masterpieces and the garden resort, so nobody's going to want to attack my gardens. You know, we, we tend to our crops quite well. So pretty it is. It is. All right, so he's going to run away, which means we should get this base back. He's probably going to run and then reworm. Uh, by being attacked? No, I think they're just leaving. Okay. So they've left, which is nice. The Trades are building a little airfield down there. We're definitely in danger of being attacked on several fronts. Hopefully the Fremen will jump ahead of me. All right, so running back here. Let's get the heavies and let's replace the airfield. Put that far away. Um, I definitely don't like that. 
We need to put an end to this Atreides base down here. We're a non aggression Oh, he got the non-aggression thing, though. Yeah, he's he's potentially going to be back backdooring us. So we need to just hunker down in turtle, basically, is uh, is the plan. War banner, musketeers. He's coming in for round two. I don't know if I can beat him now. He's going to get there before the militia. Um, maybe we wait for the reinforcements. So he's got what appears to be a pretty big army here. I mean, we have knights. We have quality. That's the advantage we have. And he hasn't triggered the militia. Okay, is he just going to leave? That's fine. Okay, it's it's just him. Let's get the airfield there. And we just set up. <laughs> Would like some missile turrets. That's for damn sure. Okay, that region is being taken. And is there anything we could do to get over there real quick? Oof. Uh, it is being liberated. And now the Atreides are, are doing it. Yeah, they're flying down with the big army here. So they're clearly scheming together. I don't know where he's going to go. Let's do a worm call. Maybe that'll scare him away. It depends. But this is going to be the part where I get beaten down by a couple people, and hopefully I can just recover afterwards, is, is my only game plan. Okay, it looks like it did scare him away. Uh, that special region's going to be taken, which is good. Okay, let's recall this. Let's let this get taken, just to get off that, and then the Fremen will jump ahead on the hedge game. Yeah, because we, we are basically playing whack-a-mole here. We're not non -aggro. We are non-aggro with the Atreides. Okay, so yeah, his attacking us is... We're not even getting anything from that territory. We're going for a political victory, right? So, Okay, so let's chill out here. Looking fine. Let's redeploy the Harvester. Oh, we just accidentally sent a Wild Knight up there. It happens. Let's go sit here, and we can start making some Musketeers. Okay, so that base got taken. And now we can get a non-aggression pact with... Uh, oh, he wants my money. Oh, that's so funny. And maybe the smugglers attack me here? Do they? Yeah, they just broke non-aggression, so probably going to be coming at me here, I would imagine. So let's get all of you guys, and you guys in group two. Start shooting the big ship. I just lost two territories. Not as scary as they think, but maybe maybe they're going to keep coming for me. We'll see. Okay, so we're beating down that mothership, which is great. Let's get our knights in there. And uh, we can pop scavenger teams if we want to. So the big ship is taking some damage. It's running away. And now he's going to the bottom too. Oh man, hopefully we can win this fight versus these guys. If I can kill his mothership, that's a huge win for us. It's a huge win. All right, so now we need to go ahead and do the cell search. So we're being potentially assassinated. If we can kill that big ship, that's huge. It's worth losing units. Okay, so that, that has been taken offline for now. It's fine, he's just pillaging down there, so that could be way worse. So we need to cell search it. Uh. Yeah, we could be in danger. I think we're in danger. Smuggler attempt. What is it? What is this percentage at? 81%? Oh, man, that's really good. Okay. So we're going to have to just make... Uh... Oh, okay. Here we go. So let's get immune to that. Speaker of the Council, we'll try and get that. The elected faction gets punishers. I think we straight up need units. Uh, do we have enough votes to win that? We have 500 votes versus 600. So we're going to take the Landsrad punishers. I'm in trouble. He's assassinating, lads. I'm probs dead. Because that cell search is taking a long ass time. It's taking forever. All right. So let's put controlled markets on the smugglers and just call it a day. And then we move over here. He's going to take this. Yeah, we just need to pull back and hopefully if I can find where the cells are, we're going to be okay. So Fremen have jumped ahead. He's just pillaging, which is a-okay. There's not much I can do about that. So we're just going to Netflix and chill. Uh, cell search in a moment. We will do it. Yeah, we can't. We can only do it so fast. Okay, let's pull back to the base. We need to just like hunker down because we're getting hit on so many fronts right now. I suspect it's over here. We did kill his big mothership though. That's very big. It's very, very big. All right, so where is he going to do it? It's probably. Yeah, I doubt it's up here. Okay, cell search. Come on. Do this. And do that. And bring you guys over here. And let's go ahead and recall you since he's trying to assassinate that. And then we need to immediately get another cell search going if we want any chance. Pretty sure I have three on counter intel, right? I can almost swear that I do. Danny Dragon wants money. It's fine. He's, he's just keep pillaging. Uh, so we're cell searching. That should get rid of a couple cells. I suspect the other one could be up here. Fremen are liberating right now. And a live bear wants... 
8.8. Oh, we'll, we'll keep that in the bank. I'm going to see if I can get that. That's pretty cool that you can demand money for that, though. I didn't actually know that was a thing. All right, so Fremen are taking that. That's fine. We, we can't hold that. There's there's we, we just have to survive the assassination attempt. Okay. Uh, infiltration cell removed. Great. So we got rid of one. I think his attempt is going to fail. We'll keep that one in the pocket. We'll decline Dandy Dragon's extortion attempts, which I love. That's so funny. And uh, let's get our harvester back going. Good. We just got to stay on top of everything under all the stress. Uh, I believe we did get the spice markets on him. Okay. Did we get another cell removed? Okay. We did not. So now let's go ahead and do a uh, investigation back here. Oof. Looks like there was nothing there. That's unfortunate. So we need to keep the cell searches going. It might have been up here, honestly. And uh, I'm not worrying about searching there because he um, he's going to decap that one. His progress is pretty low. It's pretty low, so I think we're fine. Okay, we're holding on. We got 13k. He did offer a payment plan, that's true, but I think we're okay. I, uh, we got rid of the one cell. We lost that spice field, so we were pushed back pretty hard now. And hopefully somebody else will emerge as like the arch villain here, right? War banners, yes. And we'll do another cell search back here. He could have like a, a mission going. Yeah, it hasn't refreshed in a while. We need to get like the pressure off our back so we can focus on somebody else. Okay, so production, that's gonna go. And then we can do this and this and then go down that way. Hmm, all right, no problem. So cell search, we'll do one in the back here. Nine, okay, he just got to replenish on that. So it's clearly back here. I think he had to run all the way around because we already searched all these regions. Oh, we didn't search down there, shit. That's really bad. Do we have any uh, airfields down there? We don't. Okay. So we need to go send some of you guys down there to go search that. Go search it, lads. Cell search. Yeah, it's down there. Shit. That was really stupid. How could I let that happen? That was really obvious, too. Uh, we have time, though. He's still a ways off. So I think we're, we've more or less stabilized. We've, we've played our hand politically. And um, looks like Dandy might be leaving, which is good. Finally, we'll be we'll be safe from the oppression of the Sith. Uh, we got our masterpieces in those villages. Looks fine, looks fine. We're still making respectable money. Not as good as it was before. And we certainly don't need authority. He wants to trade. What is he trying to do? Let's get to business. Oh, hell no, dude. You ain't getting anything. <laughs> All right, we saw that we can defeat him when we drove back his ship. So that's got to be our plan. So we'll decline that. That should be the last cell, um, although I should keep the cell searches going. Yeah, I don't think he can make like new ones or anything like that. Uh, military base up here. This region is still alive. We're going to cell search that. Hopefully we get rid of one. Cell search has failed. Did we? Yeah, we already did it over here, right? So there's no, there's no, nothing we missed here. Did we miss this one is the question. I don't think so. The, the, it costs a shit ton of uh, resources to maintain that, too. Okay. It's not found any cells. An investigation has removed that. Cell search failed, and he canceled it. Okay. Nice try. I will not be extorted. I will not be extorted. Not today. Oh, my God. My militia keep getting their asses kicked over here. I need to, I need to go deal with that right now. All right. So that's good. And we still got three spice fields, man. You know, we're not in bad shape. Let's just try and get to 30% chome. Yeah, let's try and get to the 30%. We got a good stockpile too. Let's just sell more. Let's just sell a whole lot more. All right, so military base is up. You gotta be careful. Ooh, worm call, who did that? Somebody placed an evil worm call on us, huh? All right, so now for this, where do we need airfields? We have them in most of the pertinent areas. We need to make another champion. So let's take you and make you our champion which will give us a super elite fighter. The worm has failed you. Oh, that's right, he's still over here. Oh yeah, we need to go deal with that shit. I definitely, how are the smugglers doing on Hedge? Oh, they're only 15, shit. I could do a non-aggression with him if he offers it again. Oh my God, what are these like Super Saiyan smugglers? Or Super Saiyan militia? They just like keep beating the brakes off my dudes. Yeah, we probably, how are we doing on knowledge? We're only at 23 at the moment. Yeah. Information levels, agents on the field. Produce more. Okay, okay. So we get over here with our, our, our drones of doom. Dandy's flying over with God knows what. 
Those are sanctuaries, though, so we shouldn't be able to take them. We definitely need to make an airfield over there so we stop having so many problems. And, um, like, knights and musketeers. Good units. Clearing that out slowly but surely. He does have some troops there, so let's hustle over with these guys. In case he tries to uh, diminish that. Landsrad's coming up. Yeah, that was a scary, scary sequence of events. I can take this back soon? Cannot be targeted by an attack? Okay, Dandy's trying to take that, but he's going to realize that they're sanctuaries and probably is going to turn and leave. I could use some of my influence, but I really want to hold it. Uh, be careful. Smugs have reroll for Gov. Just watch for later. Okay. So gear regulations. I'm going to make myself immune to that. Hell yeah. I, the council, is there. We have 484 votes. And Atreides uh, are going to win that. They're going to win that for sure. So we politicked our way a little bit. I'm definitely going to try and get this on the uh, smugglers here. They have the second worst vote count. They do right now. They do right now. So votes are, even the Fremen are rocking 200. Looks like we stabilize this. My attention is needed. Let's put this on the smugglers with all of our votes. And hope it goes off. If I get that put on me, I could be in big danger. I could get pushed back pretty hard. Okay, do we we still have all our knowledge buildings, right, that are generating here? Yeah, we, hmm. we're going to push Dandy off this. We need to. We need to, like, spend our, our friggin' authority. We've been in the, in the pits in that regard for a while. Okay, so that went off on smugglers. And Atreides, they only put 130. Oh, my God, he only put 134. I mean, but that's just, you know, his mistake. Like, I still think my play was correct. ECAS schemes. Of course. We're going to attack you soon once we deal with Dandy's little rat, rat's nest down here. We just got to kill his airfield so we can't get there to support it, and then we're probably fine. What is he going to try and do? Is he going to attack me or something? He's just he's just realizing that he can't get that, so we need to get over here, um, get rid of this, because we're okay on manpower for now, and get an airfield. All right. War banners generate manpower, so I think we're okay. Let's go hunt him down here. And it looks like the pillaging is done. We're back up to a good amount of money. Let's start buying some chome shares again. Um, we have all these gifts from the uh, from the guild here. Okay, let's take all that influence because we don't really need the money. Influence is going to be more valuable going forward. Now, what political offices do we want to try and get? All right, so let's go steamroll this, this friggin' troll-ass army here. We might actually be able to kill the Kraken. Depends on how quickly he runs away. No, he gets away. Yeah, he flees. We're getting some damage on it, but he's gonna run us. Oh, hello. Is that was that coordinated? <laughs> he's almost out of supplies. We need to wait for his buff to wear off. See, we're dragging him out. Oh my god, he's out of supplies. Okay, now he's now we can fight him here. Let's do this. Get rid of this. I think we win this fight pretty decisively. Let's pull back the injured unit. Okay, so we're running with you. He's trying to snipe. He's got his whole army targeting one unit here. Now he's on my range units. Well played. So let's make some more knights. And uh, yeah, hopefully they'll we'll win this fight. If not, we could be in some danger. I think we win it, though. Fremen, very, very frightening here. Thunderbolts and lightning. A lot of my probably influence or um, what's it called is with hedge. Yeah, it's a close fight. Shai Halud got part of my army, so... That's unfortunate. It looks like he got the war banners. Uh, this looked like we were on the rocks, but I guess not. He abandoned you, bro. He abandoned you. We have to we have to sow the seeds of descent, you know. All right, let's cancel that cell search. We're not going to need it anytime soon. EMP bomb is certainly not what we want to be doing with these guys and scavenger team here also. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes. Stroke the fires of politics. Let the nerglings feast. Okay, so the airfield has been pretty much useless for us. Um, let's go ahead and start banking again. Let's do that. We're up to 28%. If we can get to 30, I'm okay. For the friends like this, who needs enemies? I know. Who's, 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 who are you kidding, man? Ain't that the truth? Infrastration cells removed. Okay, it's, I love how it's giving me notifications from like 10 years ago. Um, probably don't need that. We can get a listening post instead. We have the dreaded... Um, yeah, Dandy's little rat's nest base needs to go. <laughs> that shit's so obnoxious over there. We have an airfield now, so we should be able to... Yeah, let's get the war banners. Those are 
key part of our army. Masterpieces increase relations. Villages at a distance of two regions of the garden sorts gain authority and militia power. That's pretty good. I just like gotta read all this stuff. Yeah, obviously Wonders of the Desert is a, is a decent one. Although, is there anything we're missing in military? Not really. Getting that 30. <laughs> no more shares, sadly. <laughs> all right. Enemy, uh, yeah, they're doing their chowmen. Can we get over here? We can. We can go squash those guys real quick. Can we fly there? Isn't that one of our airfields? Why is it blocked? Oh, well, militia looks like they've got that one handled. We can go take down that siege, too. I'm just going to go beat that thing up. What does it actually give us? Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to take down that siege. Okay, so they're politicking me. I, uh, I'm a little bit focused on other things, though. Yeah, bases are being raided on a couple of fronts. Uh, looks like we might be able to get some action going here. Um, we probably need the manpower at this point. Solari and villages, so I'm going to lose a bit. But this will give me more fuel cells if I get rid of this. We really don't need the authority production. So let's cut that and then get the fuel cell building. I think that's going to be the play. The militia held on strong there, like absolute chads. You are dead even with me. Yeah, so we're we're trying to trying to dig my way out of this hole. Trying to trying to rat's nest it. Okay, we got thirty percent now. Anything for our liege. Cool. So we take that down. We get some ship parts. It's not going to be much, but it's better than nothing. And the militia did get butchered here, so we need to regroup all those. Let's get some snipers or some musketeers. All right. So I got my thirty percent. Um, I might as well spend some influence here. Just to get some damn territory. And just put masterpieces in them. Oh god, he's he's dandies down there chilling out, huh? I should probably go squash him before the others can like muster. Yeah, I really I really wanted to um The Atreides coming down here is tough. I should have grabbed that territory earlier, but I wanted it to be a uh, special region. Yes, my lady Archduchess. Okay, can we not fly? Must be an airfield range. Anything for our Are they not an airfield range? Oh, oh, that's a different, some sort of a different influence. I feel like the missile turret doesn't do shit. Let's just get rid of that. Get an airfield here. Okay. I don't know why that was showing is, like, it looks like they're showing as airfields. Which is the weirdest thing. Okay, haven't been able to expand in a while. Um, that definitely hurts. Let's go ahead and take the uh, Plascrete. And we can build the Mothership now. Hopefully. The monument soon. We're going to go try and fight Dandy's forces before he can get reinforced by the others. Landsrad's coming up. I have decent votes, but nothing too crazy. Okay, so we've we've been in a tough position here. I need the Fremen to jump ahead, but they're they're being uh, they're very cautious with their hedge gains. So let's go squash the hell out of this this little army if we can. Uh, I mean, I don't know. They might beat us. Shit. Okay, so he did it in that region. So we have time to micro now. So Water Sellers Union, I have the council. It's pretty politically diverse. Um, I have 622, 8... Oh yeah, there's no way I'm winning that. This is a good one. Water regulations, I think. Um, is it though? Can you sell search by mission? Yeah, I think I have enough that that's okay. So we're going to do that just to like slow everyone's roll. And uh, let's see who wins the uh, judge of the council. It certainly is not going to be me. I, I keep saying that, but smugglers can outvote me too. So they're probably going to win that. Why are they only putting that many votes in? What the hell is going on with that? This is like tripping me out. All right, so yeah, he did a ceasefire here, which I believe he did the wrong territory. Oh, it's a leave order. We don't give a shit about that. Yeah, we don't care about leave orders. All right, so let's head over this way. He's probably desperately pleading for help in the chat, I would wager. Uh, man, I could have just taken that office. So nice and tasty like. Smugglers are heading up to grab some territory. That's good. They're, everyone's going to start hopefully abandoning old dandy here. I will lose some money. Um, we have 31% chome. So we need to attack while not triggering the militia is basically the idea. Okay. So we're moving in. We're attacking the old Atreides. And uh, let's do the scavenger teams and we can start getting a... Uh, Should have done epic quest. Yeah, he did a ceasefire here, which is fine. So we'll just get out of this territory while the leave order is active. Uh, Dandy, 
They are just taking territory while you sit here. Yeah, that's actually true. They're both just kind of grabbing territory. Okay, how are we looking? Got to try and squash one threat at a time. Are these uh, raiders? They are. Okay, so they're coming. I'm going to lose that territory 100%. Yeah, they're 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 gonna they're gonna get these territories. There's no sense in me trying to grab those. There's none whatsoever. Currently, I'm at plus one authority still. I don't know about the other players. Uh, let's grab that. I should have just gone for that. Next time, I'm just gonna go for that office, dude. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for the kill on that. So 31 percent chom. Uh, let's keep our armies alive here. Try not to die like a potato. One. Oh, he's going for the base kill. Wow, look at that. Holy shit. He might be able to do some damage. And then I'm just going to have to be the one sitting under my base here. Thankfully, my army is close by. It's not like super... Ooh, that, that could be a game-changing worm. If he gets me with that, it's probably GG. And I, I'm committed now. I have to run. So we're going to move in and attack you. Yes, let's get our knights there. They are really committing to this. They really are. Uh, I have to just hope at some point they're going to turn on one another. It's my only chance. Okay, he only got like, you know, 10% on that base there. Not a huge deal. Um... Dandy might move out of his little base. I'm not sure. He might. He very well could. Okay, so we just butchered that from him, of course. Jesus, that was brutal. Uh, the alliance is fickle, for sure. It's definitely fickle. So let's move up here. Dandy's moving down there. So we can... Uh, do we have an airfield down there? Oh my god, there's like worm calls everywhere. Yeah, I don't have an airfield down there. But, oh, they actually left one up here. All right, so I think we just ignore Dandy, and we go up here behind his army and try and do that. See how this goes. Are they being picked up? They are. Good. Okay. He's got his Mortis Engine ship, which is very scary. Not much I can do about it. Kind of just have to eat it. And here we are. Cool. So we get our control group too, and we just target his mothership with everything. If we kill the mothership, he's set back pretty hard. All right, so let's do the epic quest here. Mothership's getting blasted, but I'm taking a shit ton of damage. Um, I don't know why I did the supply drop, but we're just gonna do it. Epic quest here. And the flyers are slowly killing the mothership. Slowly killing it. And Dandy is getting that territory. If we can get all three of these guys down, that's gonna be pretty nuts. Okay, so we just wrecked the smugglers. I could maybe even counterattack them right now. Holy shit, that was a punishment. Uh, we need to stabilize that base though. I can't really afford to lose too much territory. All right, so let's move in to the base. Try and get aggressive, maybe. But oh, that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. We need to we need to hold that. Okay, so let's get our militia back. Run down here, and um, oh man, the renegades attacked over there. That would have been nice. I'm pretty close to getting my major spaceship too. Let's actually um, just start trading some influence for that. I think at this point it's probably worth. Okay, so what's on me? Authority? Yeah, the smuggler army I believe had that penalty on it. Okay, so heading down this way. Um, do we keep buying Chome up? I mean, I don't know. Feels feels a little dicey. Which I... I was Earlier I was like, nobody's going to attack down here. It ain't going to happen. But they should be. They should all be losing authority pretty hard. Uh, Fremen, yeah, that deep desert helps us a lot. Okay, so worst case, we just take this base. And then re-secure that one a little bit later on. Oh god, this is like storm and shit. It's just getting all crazy over here. So that's a leave order. Oh my god, Chai Halud's coming for me. He just got me pretty good. Which territory was he even called in? Called to this region. Yeah, that's what I thought. And the damn storm is just getting us so good. Yeah, I think we're we're kind of screwed here a little bit. Okay, he took the region. Let's see if we can win this. I don't know if we can, to be honest. Now that after Chai Halud ate a little bit, he had a nice breakfast. Okay, ceasefire, no problem. Uh, we can recapture that when. I don't know when. So we'll just hang tight here. Let's go ahead and get the supply drop, and we can get some mercs coming over. Do we have any more troops? We do not. Smugglers are chilling out in their base. We're just going to hang here for a while. Unfortunately, supplies are dropping rather quickly. Uh, ceasefires for how much longer? We can actually run here and maintain supplies, because that's, uh, that's our territory. Is he coming for my base again? Oh god, this is this is a hard 3v1. Very tough stuff. Hard fighting. Uh, sure. Okay, so he's saying peace for now. That's good. 
Others are definitely more of a threat. But I'm going to take the hell out of that base. Um, Fremen are doing what? They're just harassing over here? Yeah, so I'm going to go kill that airfield and get that back. I have to. I can't I can't sit on that. He might force a non-aggression pact on me. But, um, yeah, we need it, dude. We need it. So that that is going to be a sanctuary once we get this back. Our economy has been tanked a little bit. We're at 32%. We have the supply drop. So let's supply drop here, get our supplies back. The boys will move down there. Um, let's bring you here. Actually, let's leave a couple of you guys in case the Fremen try and backstab my base, which is a very good play. And we're going to take the Atreides uh, base here in a second. So, hmm, Governor is... Uh, if smugs get gov, we have to go all in. I could support it and like try and force the smugglers. Okay, so doing governorship. Okay, he's going to get it. Prepare to attack. Yeah, vote against him. Oh, I'm going to vote you smug. I'm going to vote you governor, bro. I'm going to vote for you. Oh, look at that. Here we go, baby. Let's seal his doom. <laughs> yes. Yes, good. Let the hate flow. All right, so I need to get these guys out of the back of my base. Perfect. And now we got this big ass army over here. So let's fly them here. All right, so we're attacking. Go, go, go. I think uh, it might end up working out. It's, it's one way to eliminate him, right? Um, for sure. We beat up his army pretty good earlier, so I'm hoping that this will work out well for us. He does have that Mortis Engine ship back, though. Oof, I don't like that. Okay. Let's get you guys and you guys in two. Everyone else in one. Let's pull this. We're going to have a supply drop here soon. And hopefully the boys will be back. I'm going to take this base. His main base is, like, right here, too. That's, like, a tough spot for him to be in. He's probably going to sit under his main base. All right, so we're doing that. We have a decent anti-air force, so we can start shooting here with all these uh, these units. Okay, that hurt pretty bad. Let's keep shooting. Keep shooting here. All right, let's move in. And let's fight it. Worst case, we die. You know, it is what it is. Focusing down his mothership. It's taking a bit of damage, not as much as I would like. Those, those war machine things are really good, though. They're very nice. Okay, so we killed a bit. We got 25 days left on the governorship. We'll see if the gambit works. It's going to be a very, very risky one. Let's destroy these buildings just in case. Uh, need help, guys. Yeah, we got to politic a little bit here, right? We got to do what we can. Uh, defense breaches? 500 intel, so we're a little bit tight on that. That's probably not going to happen, so... All right. So they're attacking. They're they're going to start taking ground. And where are they at? Yeah, Fremen are pretty close after that. If we can if we can take him down then I think we're good. Yeah, this is this is capping and then we can push the main base. We got the Fremen coming. And we need to get non-aggression packs with them. How is Iraq is street? Uh all right. We need non-aggro so we can fight together on base What's the plan? hopefully they'll accept it we'll see trade accepted and yeah that was good okay so poison the supplies is going it won't do anything though at this point he's got a little bit of poke here but we're about to get this base it looks like he's coming for it is he gonna come down this way i think he has to go around that way so we'll just worm call that for now and then we take over the space and you guys, let's get you over here. I have the big mothership finally, so we're going to start healing here. But firstly, we'll want to set up some missile turrets. This is really nice that we're getting this, though, because we can get an airfield like right up to his base. Is he going to come? Yeah, those are mechanical units. They don't take any damage from that thing. So that's, uh, that's very solid. Okay, so let's do this. And then we can get an airfield going right here. And that will fly in reinforcement super quickly. Let's get heavies. Heal up, and um, then we need to fight. Yeah, we should be able to get him. It's looking, it's looking very likely. And then I guess I have plenty of territories I can grab to try and do like a like a hedge a hedge run. How many? I can make another champ soon. Okay. Chome, is there any sense in buying more chome? Yeah, always, always a little bit of sense in that. 
Okay, so we got our spice harvesters. Fremen have taken some good ground here. And um, yeah, we got to go for it now. Come, uh, come Fremen. Together. Uh, let's see how the pathing is here. Okay, I can go up that way. So we're moving. And do we have defense breaches or anything? We don't. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, so let's move up here. Get on this, and we can get our war banners and our mercs to go after this. Everyone else, and then you guys can go here. Perfect. All right. So war banners, take that down, and let's get our, our range units to shoot at the big boy. And we can pop scavenger teams here. All right, so we need to kill him. Going to be pretty important to actually get the killing blow. Make some knights. And it seems like it's going good. The big uh, mortar ship is going down here. We've gotten pretty damn close. We need to actually finish him off. Okay, so somehow we weren't the first to die. We, 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 we got there. And the, my, my glorious Fremen allies are here too. Um, all right, so there's gonna be a big race for land grabbing. Kill base. What are you doing? He needs to kill the base. He's gonna win if we don't. Oh, come on, help me kill it. Okay, let's supply drop here. I do not know why they're leaving him alive. Uh, okay, why can I not use this here? Oh, there's like, uh, they're interrupting communications or something. That's interesting, I haven't seen that. That's a cool strategy. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep trying to kill him. Let's see if they, they're being really greedy. Fremen, we need to, we need to kill him. You are full supply. Muskets are loaded. If you don't help, I will not attack him. All right. So yeah. Oh, administrative burden on me. That's that's very good. Well played. So do we have enough for anything fancy? Okay. So the fremen are coming back. They return in greater numbers. Uh, I'm healing up. A little bit. We can go ahead and make some mercs. They finish like super quick. I think even with uh, that blocking thing, they, they finish quack, quick. Yeah, now he's coming back. He's like, I'm like, I'm not going to attack if you don't help. <laughs> All right, so let's take down the siege. What are you doing? Where are you going, dude? Come on. Wait, what is he doing? Come on, buddy, help me. We're going to lose to this. Okay, so we're on the siege. Um, we can buy Chome. Dandy, Dandy is going to probably just cackle. Dandy, we need you. Okay. So we're blasting away. And uh, getting the Daka in there. Let's finish him off. He's got 10 days left. And then everybody just falls back and it's absolute chaos. Thankfully, I'm kind of running under the radar. So I can probably grab um, controlled markets. Uh, I'm gonna make myself immune to that. I'm at a 4.3 exchange rate right now, which is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, we're gonna make ourselves immune to that one. And then we're just gonna vote this on, I don't know, who's probably richer. We'll probably get the Atreides with this or something. It's fine, I'm like, my, my time of being in politics is, is kind of diminished. It was there, we had our moment in the sun for sure, but it's uh, it has long since passed. Okay, so now you fly down here, buddy. And they're going to go take the southern territories and try and reestablish some of what I once had. And then we can get this one too, and that's going to probably put us in the hedge race. Dandy, don't leave! Dandy, he may stabilize. We have the most inspiring ship in the galaxy. Okay, I might actually need to fly those units into the base here, so let's do that. Bring them here. Let's get our big ship back. We're still trying. Come on, boys. Oh, this is so shady. This is so incredibly shady. Okay, let's move in. Let's get the big mother ship back. Guys, we need to stop him. Fremen, stay. Oh my god, this is so, so dodgy. It's so dodgy. All right, let's get you guys. I believe, what upgrades do we have on them? Do we have the range damage reduction one? I think we do. 
Okay, I might need to just spam out like mercs and just come in with like 30 of them and just try and shoot his base down. Okay, so let's get all of you guys. Let's shuttle over. Let's do this. And get the military base here as well. Okay, the mothership is healed up. Guys. Uh, I need help. I wasn't, I wasn't lying. He might get it. Oh my god. Okay, Dandy came back. The greed, the greed. You know, I love it. Oh my god, it's so greedy. Okay, let's make some of these and some more banners and call it a day. Oh my god, so close. Almost got it down. Siege Incentives is giving us money too. This is going to open up some shares. GG. Well played. Alright, let's get out of here. We need to get some damn water. Alright, so let's get water here. And uh, thankfully I have non-aggression packed with those other gentlemen, so it's pretty good. We got some of our agents back, so let's get them in here. And I don't think anybody's going to try and assassinate at this point, so we're just going to like dump our agents elsewhere. And let's go grab some territory now. Alright, so let's grab this renegade base if we can. I, hopefully we can win it. There's a renegade base over there, which is pretty funny. But um, yeah, now those two hopefully will start fighting. That's the plan. That is the major plan. Okay, supply drop is there, giving us the goodies. Uh, let's build this. I think my days of choming are probably, probably mostly relaxed at this point. Are we gonna win this fight against this damn friggin' garrison here? I think we do. Do we have any knights here? Oh, we have one knight. Yeah, we can make him our champ. No, we can't, okay. Okay, so the water needs, we need water at this point. The smugglers, oh, the smugglers were uh, giving us water to, to water selling to us. Okay, that's that explains a lot. Uh, I, I definitely understand. So, Plasteel, sure as hell don't need that. Let's get water here. Let's go ahead and take that. Get some ship parts. We can get some uh, of these flyers and some more banners. Should be able to have a pretty good quality army. And how's water looking everywhere? Yeah, could be worse, could be worse. Oh, so now this is a sanctuary. All right. Uh, well, I guess that's something. We don't need to waste our time here anymore. So he says, "How do you want to play this? It's it's all you. It's all you, buddy. I got I got places to go and people to meet. I'm going to the south. We have a very happy sanctuary now, and this region is a fuel cell region, which is outstanding. So that actually helps us quite a bit. All right. So let's head south. Uh, capture this region back." Although, maybe we just go bully Dandy's base and then get him out of our rat's nest here. And then we can just start grabbing all these territories in the south. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is very close. Okay. Wrong person. <laughs> I think he I think he, he sent me the message. Uh, sent a message to me. Yeah. All right. So heading down here to grab this. Um, what text did we get done? Valuable trinkets. So we can build craft workshops now, which we definitely are going to need. So we can get rid of knowledge buildings, although the knowledge is still helpful, but we definitely need some craft workshops. Because we're going to start trying to catch up and hedge. We need the milk. All right, so retaking this special region. I might be able to fight them 2v1, I'm not sure. Um, Dandy's well ahead. I'm going to have to break that soon. But let's spend what influence we have and then... Um, yeah, so grab that. Let me go clear out this renegade base. Let's get some knights, some musketeers. Flying is an ecstatic experience. These guys come down and help. Okay, are we going to get attacked by the Fremen? They could. They very well could. Uh, do I want to build that building in the front and really show my hand? This is a processing plant. This was one of the ones I was making us so rich earlier. It's a shame we lost that. All right, so that's going to be ours. That's good. That's going to get us back on par with these guys. Okay, so we've taken second place now. Let's get some heavies down here and get the processing plant to try and get that money going again. And now this is a sanctuary once we clear it out. All right, so we're heading over. Let's make one of our knights a champion. That can definitely give us some hedge here in the fourth quarter. Um, up here, we want to do an airfield. We already have an airfield of some sort. Let's just do a random turret. Make it a little bit less appealing to attack. Um, that will give us lands chad standing. I love that strategy. When you vote people in as, as friggin' governor to take them out, it's like, it's so righteous. 
Especially after I was being swarmed for so long, they were giving me the dirty, man. All three of them. It was just like, it was just pure anarchy. Alright, so let's take down this Renegade base. Hopefully we have a good enough army here. It's a little bit of a small force. But, um, should be fine. Let's get you guys. Clear that out. So that's going to be a sanctuary for us. Special regions. We need to get the passive income. I think we cut this down here and get the craft workshop. All right. So we're creeping up on Atreides. We're creeping up on him. And then this region is going to be fair game too. And that's only 248. So we can run over there and grab that next. I, I might want to wait till a little bit later. Oh, there's something going on in the middle too. Um, I'm going to make myself immune to this. And then I'm going to vote loss of rights because Atreides has a bunch of stuff. So we're going to we're going to try and loss him. If he's not paying attention, which you know people will often miss, that will um, be just a colossal power play if that goes down. Come on. Did I have 380? Is that what I had? Yeah. Oh, I had 420. I had a little bit more, I guess. Maybe that counted. Could have sworn I drew the slider all the way. But I am immune to this. And loss of rights has gone down perfect. So I lose water cellars, but, you know, whatever. It's not a huge deal. I'll buy some chum shares. All right. So that's good. So where do we have an airfield right now? Let's get a craft workshop. Heading north. Fremen may be going to attack me. I don't know. They, they, seem, they seem a little ornery. They are ornery folk. Let's grab this. And 26k? Okay, they both just passed me pretty good. So I need to break this alliance with him soon. I don't think I have enough. I will soon. It's only 50, so. I'll be able to break that and then get this. Then I go grab that region and we call it a day. Um, do I take that? That would be 150. This is 228. Uh, we do not. We save that for later. Okay, so we're heading over to Dandy's base and we are going to break that pact. Oh, we can't break it because we have things in his base. So hopefully soon. They voted gear on you, did they? Well, you're in first place. You're doing great. Looking good. Okay, so I'm going to take this base back so he doesn't fly into the back of my base anymore. I know he's been getting his jollies off for sure. He could ceasefire me, which would be very, very annoying. Um, it would be a good play. Okay, let's get these planes away. Save them if we can. Ah, lost it like an absolute potato. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was expending influence here. Yeah, it's fine. I had a lot of extra, but at this point, we have enough spaceship parts. I think I'm happy. All right, so war banners and knights. The Ikaz armies are pretty formidable once they get going. They, they're definitely no joke. Uh, once I get this base, yes. All right, so let's take that back. And then this one is going to be how much to take? Oh, he really wants to fight me. Okay, I think I can actually take him. Maybe, we'll find out. Let's do this. Epic quest. And uh, do we want to change this? Okay, we can actually do that. That's going to slow his attack speed down. And then we can supply drop here to make sure we're good and get some more reinforcements here. Hmm, yeah, we, we definitely want this. If he leaves, I think I just start capping it again. Yeah, so now it's just going to start capping again, if I'm not mistaken. We have enough to grab this one. It's 248. And we'll have a couple units popping out in a second, which can go grab that. It's, it's going to slow him down for sure. But I don't know how often he can keep that ceasefire going. He says accepted. He's been very good with his, his ceasefires this game. Classic Atreides goodness. He's doing great. All these players are, honestly. Everyone's playing super well. Uh, water down here? Yes. We need it. We're kind of low in the water department. Maybe we'll get some sort of influence vote at some point. Um, okay, so that is going to be taken by us. The ceasefire will wear off here in a second. I'm going to keep most of my army here in case he goes back on his, his, his decision. What does this garrison look like over here? Okay, the knight and the uh, one unit should be able to take that. Okay, nothing's going on here. Yeah, that's all siege stuff. Could bull go bully one of the sieges. You, all right, so heading here, we have the supply drop. This is going to be taken. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's take down his airfield. All right, get that shit down so we can't fly over here anymore. Cool. Authority production is pretty sweet, but it's getting really tight. We're going to have to like decap somebody soon. Man, I might be able to chase them. I might be able to. Okay, so homie's there. We got a plane. I said you could have it. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not sure. Why not keep Infra? Uh, you know, 
Uh, you never know. You could he could he could betray me. If if it came down to winning the, winning or losing the game, I would expect a betrayal. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's how we play that. So 248. Is there any more special regions? Um, Fremen are grabbing territory or trying to. So we need to stop that. We're gonna get this territory and this one. So we're gonna get a huge jump in hedge right now, like huge. Uh, anything else that I could do differently? Yeah, we got valuable trinkets. Wonders of the Desert is coming along. All right, let's take that. So that's going to be a nice little one-two punch for us, which could put us up into the the threshold of potentially winning this game, especially if we get the uh, the craft there, the craft workshop. That's going to be quite massive. All right, let's take the authority. We need to go look for those like free authority grabs on the map. Nice, nice. There's several of those. And then there's one here too, so let's cancel this. Take that. So we just got like enough authority to maybe grab another region. 226. That's gonna be a two for one right there, baby. That's gonna be prime time. All right, so let's get this craft workshop. And um, is there any more special regions? No, we're just gonna go grab this one. Do that. And we've jumped up into first. We've gotten that one too. So this one will give us water. So let's just grab some, some agua. All right, let's head to the main base. Should have enough to grab that. And I think we can win it. I think we can. I think they're going to have to attack me soon. I think there is going to be some attacks. Yeah, he's going to try and take this. Man, I wish I had a thumper right now. That would be really nice. <laughs> no problem, dude. You don't need to apologize. You're doing great, man. There's been some solid Fremen play here. Unfortunately, no airfield here, even though it kind of looks like there is one. Uh, I don't know if I'll have enough time. If I get that other territory, I might be able to just cackle. All right, so we're heading over to fight, and we almost have enough for that. It's 259, so we just need a moment. Is this a full army? I mean, it's not our full army, but it's it's going to have to do. It's going to have to do. Ekaz armies, like I said, very scary. Very, very scary. Thunderbolts and lightning. Uh, can we cap that? No, we can't. Dandy's backstabbing. Nice, nice. Very good. Very well played. Okay, so they fled the scene. Dandy might jump over there. Unfortunately, we're not going to get that, so... That's what we got this one for. You know, we got the we got the old home base, the old Razzle Dazzle. So we're gonna bounce over there and grab that. Dandy's looks like he's coming for something here. Maybe. Yeah, we did take that base back from him. Which we're gonna grab this one. And he's gonna grab that, but I think I'll have enough time. So let's just get this. Uh take that base. It's it's the one we kept in uh, the cookie jar for later, you know. This base is gonna get hammered here pretty good. We have the passive hedge on a couple buildings. This is really, really tight. We got 27K right now. I could start buying up for Chome. Let's uh, put it on auto buy right now, just to see how far we can get as an alternate win con. Although I don't think it's gonna come to that, but we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. Okay, so water regulations is not good. Um, so we wanted to decline that with most of our votes because we need, we need the authority potentially to grab things. So let's uh, pose that. And then these are the only two that are missing here. Danny's trying to get that. I don't know if they'll have enough time. Maybe. I don't have an airfield over there. Didn't have time to set one up. Uh, let's not make that same mistake here. Do a little bit of base building while we're waiting. And um, for this, we can go ahead and get some intel, I guess. Wouldn't be bad. Okay, so we grab that territory. We collapse on the Fremen. And just try and hold on. Oh, he got the Raiders. The Fremen Raiders. That's a nice play. Okay, so that's been a taken. We're at 29.5. We have a champion. Um, let's get a champ. Do we have one? Looks like we already have a champ. Cool. And let's move it and fight. See how this goes. Unfortunately, I don't have any like cool like missions or anything, but we're going to try and fight it here. This is pretty big. This is like a very decisive battle. So let's move our mothership over. And get it to use its um its switch to war anthem. Yeah, we're gonna take the power. That Fremen army is doing pretty good against us, actually. It's doing very good. If our knight uh, kills a couple more units, though, we win. Oh yes, we got it. Oh, because the knight was generating hedge when he killed things. Jesus, dude, what a game. God, under constant pressure. We ended up getting it. Let's go view the summary. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that one. And you know, you can see Ecas can be pretty dynamic. Like pretty good on Chome. Like we were at. What was our chome? We were at 40% there, um, which is not bad. And then we also had hedge. We had political ambitions too. It's very fun, man. GG to those players. They all played really well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Let me know what uh, faction you want to see next and we'll do it.
And I think that's going to be it for today. Cheers, guys.